European countries. We are going to name these countries that are near the Baltic Sea and the North Sea. We can see our lady playing the flute. Here is our Baltic Sea. And over here is the North Sea. And Norway kind of looks like a giant key. So we have Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Denmark. And we're going to sing it. European countries, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark. Northern European countries, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark. Age of exploration. Circa 1400 to circa 1600. Prince Henry founds School of Navigation, slave trade in Africa. Gutenberg's printing press, Songhai in Africa. Tsar Ivan the Great of Russia, the Spanish Inquisition. Age of exploration, circa 1400 to circa 1600. Prince Henry founds school of navigation, slave trade in Africa. Gutenberg's printing press, Songhai in Africa. Tsar Ivan the Great of Russia, the Spanish Inquisition. Conjugation, present tense. First conjugation, present tense. O S T, mustis unt. O S T, mustis unt. O S T, he mustis unt. First conjugation, present tense. First conjugation, present tense. O S T, mustis unt. O S T, mustis unt. Conjugation, present tense. What are some names of U.S. space missions? Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, Shuttle. What are some Names of U.S. space missions. Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, Shuttle. What steam engine? Cartwright's power loom and Whitney's cotton gin. The Industrial Revolution that began in the 1760s. What steam engine, Cartwright's power loom, and Whitney's cotton gin spurred the Industrial Revolution that began in the 1760s? It's time for a history sentence breakdown on the Industrial Revolution. So first we will talk about each of these inventions and then we'll talk about the Industrial Revolution itself. So let's start with the steam engine. So there were factories and they had machines in them and they needed power sources. So in the early 1700s people discovered how to build steam engines. Then later in the 1700s, James Watt invented a steam engine that could run factory machines. Steam engines were used for many years to come that powered trains, cars, ships, and other machines. The power loom. A loom is a device that is used to weave together threads in order to produce a fabric. So making fabric. 
Now traditional hand looms, they were very slow and required several laborers to operate. So Cartwright's invention was important because the power loom was used, used machines that could automate much of this weaving process, making it much faster and easier. Okay, the cotton gin. So the Industrial Revolution began in the cloth industry. And before the Industrial Revolution, making cloth was a slow process. You can see this little boy waiting for a long time. <laughs> In 1793, Eli Whitney invented a machine called a cotton gin. It helped clean the cotton after it was picked. He also came up with the idea of interchangeable parts. So before this, a worker who was skilled, they would have a skill of making one type of product and they would spend a great deal of time making a single product by hand. So Whitney discovered that a machine could make many copies of these individual parts of a product and then the parts could be assembled by any worker. So this meant that many goods could be produced quickly and soon factories were set up to produce these goods. So what was the Industrial Revolution and why was it important? The Industrial Revolution was a period of major changes in the way products are made from 1760 to about 1840, and it greatly affected the way people lived as well as the way they worked. In earlier days, people made products by hand, and they worked mostly in their own homes or in small workshops. So during the Industrial Revolution, many factories were built. Laborers or workers began making large numbers of things using machines that were powered by engines. The Industrial Revolution began in England, but soon spread to other European countries, the United States and Japan. So why is this important? Well, by the late 1700s, many people could no longer earn their living in the countryside. So people moved from farms and villages into bigger towns and cities to find work. Cities grew larger, but one effect of that is that they were often dirty, crowded, and unhealthy. So the machines made the work easier in some ways, but factory work also created problems for the workers. Machines increased production, so this meant that products were cheaper to make and cheaper to buy. And you can see this woman shopping here during the Industrial Revolution. And so another thing about the Industrial Revolution is that, so the factory owners were very rich. They, they grew very rich, but the employees did not earn as much and the work was, work was often very dangerous. So people were working 12 to 14 hours a day, and that included men, women, and even small children worked in factories. So in order to protect the children and all of the people working in the factories, the workers sought to win, imp win improved conditions and wages through labor unions. These organizations helped create laws that protected the workers. They limited the number of hours they had to work and guaranteed that they would be paid a certain amount.
everything, both each other, everybody, everyone, everything, few, many, more, most, neither, nobody, none, one, other, several, some, somebody, someone, such. These are indefinite pronouns. These are indefinite pronouns. These are indefinite pronouns. Weeks 11, 12, and 13. All, another, any, anybody, anyone, anything, both, each other, everybody, everyone, everything, few, many, more, most, neither, nobody, none, one, other, several, some, somebody, someone, such.